All right, guys, so I actually don't normally do this, but the leaks are out uh, for the data mine. This is all becoming at reset, so you'll see it all then. But I thought I'd let you all know just ahead of time so you can prepare, you know, in case you're not prepared. I don't know. But these are the leaks. These are everything we'll be getting at reset. And there's actually kind of a lot and a bit of surprising uh, news, I'm sure, as you'll see in the thumbnail. Broly and Chi Lai are coming back, so we might as well start with that. Um, when looking at the leaks here, which you can find, uh, there's many accounts on Twitter. I'll link a couple that normally post leaks so you guys can check them out yourselves. We have the Legends Movie Saga banner apparently coming. It'll have the movie characters on it. It's got Broly and Chi Lai there. And then there's Tapion, um, Bojack, I forget his name because I never use it because he's just pure evil. And then there's Broly and then the transforming Gohan. So. For those of you that are running movies and you've been pulling the Goku and Turtles and you need some of the other units, here you go. Um, the Broly and Chi-Lai are back finally. First time they are back since that Legends Rising where they were with uh, Yellow Vegito. We got the Yellow Vegito just a little while ago on the Yellow Banner and now Broly and Chi-Lai are back for the Legends movie saga. So that's exciting. Of course the news, uh, everyone knew we're getting the Zenkai Android 16. That's no real surprise to anyone. Here we have what I believe are the uh, equip images. They're like the same size and cutout. There's Android 16's face before he gets squashed by Cell. We have Turles um, looking down on us. And then uh, Turles again there. So I think those are new equips. I'm trying to remember these. I think they're new. Um, I don't think they're old, but I don't know. I feel like I've seen the Android 16 one. I, I don't remember every equip picture off the top of my head right now, so <laughs> I'm sorry for that if they're just uh, old ones. But we are getting a new login bonus as well. Beat the heat login bonus. Uh, it doesn't tell us what is going to be on the login bonus. We're going to have to wait until reset for that. But we are getting a new login bonus, so that's uh, always exciting to get more free stuff just for logging in. Hopefully it's uh, actually some good stuff. So. Keep your eyes peeled for that and don't forget to log in if it is in fact you know good and you feel it's worth logging in and not just uh waiting to get the return rewards because some people do that right now since the game's pretty dry and as goresh actually just tweeted he believes there is a 99 percent chance we see a new lf in like the next week or so so i said it earlier in my video uh today about android 17 potentially getting an lf I think androids are getting an LF, and if it's 17, whoo, you guys are getting a summoning video. Oh, I'm just, I can't even, I can't even imagine, so. But continuing on with the leaks here, we have, of course, the card art for Android 16 Zenkai. Um, it's just like all the others, it's got Android 16 on it, so if you're a big Android 16 fan, I'm sure you'll go and uh, Zenkai him, and then, uh, you can have them on your card arts for every card you use. So that's cool. We have this, um, I think this is the Zen, this is the Zenkai soul. I was wondering what it is. This is the Zenkai soul for uh, when you summon him for the Zenkais, you know, that's the little soul that appears. Um, we have the Turles story. Uh, I believe this is the returning one. I don't think this is new. I've seen some people on Twitter say, oh, it's new, but I'm pretty sure I remember this being the old one. And that looks to me like the two old Turles um, Z Power, but it, I don't remember the last time we had Turles and if it was called the Wicked Warrior, but I feel like it was. So we're getting this, whether it be new or not, if it's not, well, then there's nothing to grind for a lot of people that have been playing for a while. If it is new, that'll be more exciting, but I don't think it is, so. That's disappointing, but I don't even remember the last time we got a new one of those. The original story things, those are just... I feel like it's been light years since we got a new one. Um, already saw those card arts. And then it seems we are getting the Ginyu Force Sizzling Boot Camp, so Summer Boot Camp, back. We just had the new version for this year, which if you forgot was the Super Warriors with... Um, Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. There we go, almost forgot. And uh, so we're getting the boot camp one back. So if you're new and didn't do it last time, or you just, I don't know, need to do it, it's back. So that's that's exciting stuff to do for people that haven't done yet. Maybe they'll add some new missions in for the more veteran players. I guess we'll have to see. 
Then the Dreaded Ginyu Force, that's come up like, that was just here, I feel like, but that's back. That's another one of those old story missions. The Invincible Android 18, again, I feel like that was just here as well. And uh, it's another one of those old story missions. And then there's the Ultimate Wicked Warrior Turtles, uh, again, which I believe is an old one. Um, let me check over here real fast, make sure I'm not missing anything. I believe that is all of the leaks we're getting all right guys so i almost missed android 16's um stats being updated to uh dbz space so didn't want to miss that for you guys so you guys can know before it comes out and he's looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie um i'm liking him of course i like to kind of wait until they're actually you know there to use before i you know say oh, okay this is legit um but he's looking nice so let's go over him quickly real fast here is zenkai at 14 stars you know all maxed out and all that good stuff He's got uh, 2.9 million health, so that's that's looking nice. He's got uh, strike attack of about 270-ish, 269, so that's that's pretty good. Um, of course, this is 14 star uh, max panel and all that, but uh, strike defense is at 190, so nearly 200 for strike defense, which is good. That is good. Blast attack is about 201, and blast defense is about 194.8, so nearly 195. So he can take some damage. So you toss him out against Vegito Blue, he's a green, and uh, what I'm about to get into here with his uh, new abilities and whatnot, Vegito Blue is not doing much to the 16, so we may see Android team, team Resurgence, as I talked about in my video earlier, which if you haven't seen, go check that out. I talk about how it's likely we're getting new Android units because just releasing this isn't really enough to help the Android tag. I feel like more units are coming. And as Goresh said, he feels like a new LF is on the way. So could be a new LF Androids, could be a Cell, could be an Android 17, which is what I'm hoping for uh, from the Tournament of Power, something like that. Maybe the, uh, specifically when he put the, you know, explosion on Jiren's back, it could be like that. So, or self-destruct, you know, something like that. I think that, I, was it self-destruct? I don't know, it's been a moment since I've watched that, so I'm sorry if that's the, the same event and I'm just forgetting. Um, main ability here, I'm going to self-destruct. You draw the self-destruct uh, Awaken Art card, restore zone key by 70% and plus 30% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Uh, the difference is you restore your own key by 70 now and plus 30%, so that's nice. Going down to unique abilities here, Compassionate Android reduces damage received by 50% until combo ends when changing cover. Uh, restores 50% of damage taken and then now instead of the plus three substitution count he has a plus two so it's down by one which is always nice to be able to have you guys out there quicker um the following effects occur when the enemy attack is over plus 20% to damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts and then plus 20% damage inflicted for yourself for 20 timer counts and uh that is completely added on um didn't have that before for the compassionate android so that's part of his new zenkai uh, the robot body before it just was a uh, nullify on abnormal conditions but now it applies buff effect nullify attribute downgrades up to two times to self when battle starts so it's nice that he has that um ability on him and then his new abilities here are last words of advice applies the following effects to allies when this character is defeated restores health by 15 percent plus 20 percent the damage inflicted and plus 15 percent in damage inflicted by tags Android or the character Gohan. So you could uh, run Gohan as there's also when he uses his main ability as we'll get into a second where he also boosts Gohan further there. So you probably will see some people running around with a movie's Gohan, especially since that banner's coming back. Um, people can pull more. And then Android 16 Zenkai. So be on the lookout for that because Gohan's getting those boosts. Uh, his other new ability here is Rising Weapon of Destruction. Applies the following effects to self uh, according to the number of battle members, battle members, when this character enters the battlefield, three battle members, you get plus 40% to strike damage inflicted. Two battle members, you get plus 40% to damage inflicted. So not just strike, but blast and all damage you do. And then one battle member is plus 50% to damage inflicted and reduces damage received by 20%. So when he's a last man standing, of course, you can still always use your self-destruct. Um... Not quite the best move when he's your last man standing, but he does gain those uh, abilities there, as you can see. Now, if we uh, scroll down here, his Hellflash, his special move, 
is plus 30% damage, uh, self-destruct damage inflicted for 30 timer counts. So if you use this and then use your self-destruct, it's an extra 30%. And then he has blast armor on it now, which he did not have before. And then I believe, uh, yeah, it's an extra five counts now instead of the 25 he originally had. Then his green card restores own key by 30, plus 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and plus 15% to self-destruct damage inflicted cannot be canceled. So that, uh, I believe, is new. Yeah, the 20% um, damage inflicted for 20 timer counts is new with his Zenkai. And then finally, his final strength ultimate skill, uh, self-destruct damage, that's the same as before, plus 50% to allied character Gohan key recovery for 20 timer counts. So there's the other Gohan boost I was talking about. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 80 to health restoration for 30 timer counts. And then of course he has blast armor now on his self-destruct. And this is different because uh, the Gohan originally had it for, the Gohan's the same. I thought the timer counts changed, but nope, that's the same. The only difference is he now has blast armor and the enemy is inflicted with attribute downgrade minus 80% to health restoration for 30 timer counts. So that's all the new stuff for Android 16. Uh, I'll throw you back to other me who is going through the other leaks. And uh, yeah, for tonight, yes, that seems to be everything I see. So yeah, uh, I just thought I'd quickly here let you all know what we're about to get. I'm gonna try and get this video up as quick as possible. So there's probably not gonna be a lot of editing going on in it. So forgive me for that. I just wanna get the news out to you guys before the reset actually happens. So uh, I'll still have a video coming out tomorrow, even though I don't normally do these, but I feel like I should start, you know, let you guys know uh, for those of you that are watching me. So as always, if you enjoyed, appreciate the information, leave a like, subscribe if you're new for more information and then just Dragon Ball Legends and Dragon Ball stuff in general. And uh, as always, hope you all are staying happy and healthy. I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow.